Hey guys, Fishy here, and I wanted to show you a phenomenon that I run into a lot when I'm looking at sites and checking them out to see if they're fake. I tend to record these sites that I think are suspect in this file that I keep, a spreadsheet, and I track sites with names like Florida News Press, Florida Post, Georgia Daily, Georgia Daily Post, Georgia News Press, there's other ones like Indiana News Press, Kentucky Press. This is a pattern. I see a state and then press or daily or news after it. And they're typically run out of places like Pakistan and India. So you have Memphis Post and Michigan News and Maryland Daily. And these tend to share content that they've stolen from somewhere else. So here's one story that I want to follow all the way through. I saw this one in Arizona News Press. Actor Tom Selleck, I would say F you to anyone who wants Donald Trump too, and then ellipsis. And I had seen that before. When I looked at Arizona News Press, um, this wasn't anything new. It's just a funky little weird profile or template that they're using here. But then I found Charlotte Post, Tom Selleck, Actor Tom Selleck, I would say F you to anyone who wants Donald Trump too. This one was posted August 8th. Now, when we look at this other one, it's saying September 29th. So this is actually posted just a few days ago. This one was posted August 8th. And it's the same text. Hollywood legend Tom Selleck has praised Donald J. Trump as President of the United States. This one starts the same way. And it goes on, in a meeting with Breitbart News, the legendary actor stated, American actor stated, etc. Well, let's continue to look. What else have I found here? This one is Colorado Post. Colorado Post, same text, September 4th. This is copied and pasted here. Then Georgia Daily. Georgia Daily, September 8th. It's the same text. And then I can look at Indiana News Press. The same story, October 1st, so this is just yesterday, in the same text, exactly. The only thing that really changes is the site name and sometimes the picture of Tom Selleck. And you could do these very quickly and make a lot of money making these, uh, getting people to click on these, especially if you live in a place like Pakistan or India where uh, a little money goes a lot longer way. Uh, can really lift someone out of poverty or something. Here's a uh, September 29th, same text exactly from Michigan News. This is Phoenix Post. It's the same template, different picture, same words, August 5th. We can look at it again. Here's Tom Selleck, September 3rd, same headline. We scroll down. It's the same text again. Here's POTUS status. That was an interesting one. No picture here, but August 17th, same text. We can look at POTUS update, which is different from POTUS status. POTUS update, here's the picture, here's the headline, here's the same text, August 8th. Here we have USA News, same story, same text. Do we have a date? August 21st. We can look here, Utah Daily. Again, another headline repeated. The same text, September 16th. These guys really want to get this information out about Tom Selleck. Viral Political Daily shared this back in September. September 8th, same text. Different picture, but we've seen that picture before. And finally, Washington Post Daily a pretend site that wants to trick people into thinking it's Washington Post to get them to click, August 20th, and the same text. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different pages that have the same story, exactly the same story, word for word, and every time it goes around, these guys send it around through fake profiles and send it into Trump-related groups 
and people click on this and they make money every time. This is what you're facing out there when you're looking online, on Facebook specifically, at stories that come through. A good chance that some of them you'll find in your feed come from junk sites like this that are just copying and pasting the same story over and over and making money off of it. Just thought you should know.